get my badge. Almost left without my badge. Oh, that would have been terrible because I can't get anywhere, especially being in charge. My channel it is michelle here if you're new here hey welcome go ahead hit the subscribe button and join this family here please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me get the likes up for me and i really really appreciate it but you guys it's a new week today is monday time right now is around four i went to the grocery store did some grocery shopping um re-upped on some things restocked the fridge and now i want to cook i want to make either jollof i'm craving jollof but i'm making it in another way i'm just i there's a specific taste of jollof that i'm trying to like replicate and i cannot seem to figure out like which ingredients work for what but today i'm gonna try something else you know that's one thing with cooking you try try again you know like i said the motto for 2024 is what we go again so I'm gonna keep trying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my ingredients together and start cooking. I'm actually watching um, the Ghana game, the Ghana versus Mozambique game. If you're from Ghana, go ahead and drop a Ghana flag in the comments. I wanna know how many of you guys that watch me are actually Ghanaian. So go ahead and drop a Ghana flag. It's currently halftime. Ghana is one to zero uh, Mozambique. So we're praying that we win this game, but if you're from my country, you know that you can't, your heart, can't be too deep into this game. You know that you gotta guard your heart because these people can be disappointing. But it's okay, today we're hopeful. But yeah, if you are from Ghana, um, go ahead and drop your flag. Actually, if you're from any country in Africa, since it's the African Cup of Nations, if you're from any country in Africa, drop your flag in the comments. I would love to see where you guys are from. But yeah, let's go ahead and start cooking. Oh Lord, God, no, oh, God, now come on, man. Right now. 
Okay, let's go back to cooking. Oh, this country, this country of mine. <laughs> They also got a penalty. Jesus, Ofori, come on. Ofori, come on. Alright, Pacho, alright, Pacho. Pop it. Ah, they got it. Oh, Anyways, y'all, I pray they're, they are <laughs> gone off. I believe they have gone a level. Gone will still go through, but that will certainly help the Avori, of course. Minani plays it back. Meza, Nimildo, all the Mozambicans. They just equalized 2 2. Are you serious? What kind of country? The last six minutes of the game, these people managed to score. Two. Ghana, how? I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to yell, but how? We were leading 2-0. Last six, last ten minutes of the game, 2-2. Two, two. How? What the f Oh Ghana, 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 Ghana. I dang. I dang. I'm I'm so sick, you guys. I told y'all in the beginning, your heart your heart just can't be too deep in this because they will they will walk all over you. Y'all, uh, I'ma check in maybe tomorrow because I don't know if I feel good enough after this. Talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over it. Hey guys, happy new day. Time right now. I look so ashy, child. But doing my nighttime skincare routine before I head into work. Time is almost 6, 5.53. Yeah, we are back to work, you guys. We are back to going to work. So I'm working this week using my 0.1% Adapalene Gel by La Roche Posay um, on my face after I cleansed. <sighs> going in with my Luxaton, but this is a toner. But yeah, I'm working this week Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So three in a row, pray for me. How am I working three in a row after not working for like two and a half weeks? But anywho, I can do it. And then lastly, I go in with my serum, my night serum. And this helps keep my face moisturized all throughout the nights. But yeah, I literally slept in all day today, you guys. I was so exhausted and I wanted to give myself that time to rest. So that's pretty much all I did. Woke up around 8 o'clock this morning, made breakfast, and then went right back to sleep. 
occasionally will wake up here and there but my main goal was to rest and you would say i did just that i just pray that my body acclimates to being back at work that's the kind of night shift it can take a toll on your body child oh skincare is done let's go figure out which scrub i want to wear now that i'm going back i think i want to do the ta was that taste taje Tafe, Tafe by um, Taja. I really like those scrubs. But let me go put those on and BRB. I need to be out of this house within the next five minutes. I work so far from my house. It's crazy. Another reason why I need to really use my NP degree because my job is far and I cannot keep driving such long distance every single day or every single day but y'all know what i mean for the rest of the year so once my contract ends which is gonna be in the springtime so i need to figure out my life um let's see i need to figure out my life from there on out and because this is an in-house thing, I can just cut my hours and still work there. But we'll see. We'll see as time progresses. I have so much I need to do, you guys, which we'll chat about tomorrow. But let's go downstairs. <laughs> well, let's see what the rave is about. Such good water. I'm saving money from here on out. I'm drinking my own refrigerator water. But you guys, I need to be out of here in, I'm like two minutes behind, but I'm gonna go pack my bag and I will head on out. Checking in guys, time right now is 2 a.m. Two. We are at work. I actually forgot I would be charged today, so I'm actually charged tonight. And I actually met one of you guys. Um, if you're watching this, hey girl. <laughs> but yeah, today's been a little busy. I've had to admit three patients, well, assign three patients to nurses and we had a rapid response it's just been a little busy but we're we're hanging in there but yeah i completely forgot i was doing charge today which is actually great because in as much as sometimes i don't like being charged today was a good day to be charged let me say that um i'm also charged tomorrow so i like that and then i thought i was working thursday but i'm actually not i am working on saturday so i do get a break so Tuesday, Wednesday, off, Thursday, Friday, working Saturday this week. But I can tell you guys a little bit about being charged. So basically I got here at 7.30. I did hand off with the other nurse that was here, the day shift charge. We walked around, looked at the patients, we talked about census, looked at the bed board, who needed to come up, who's going out. Um, and we also counted our meds, the controlled substances. We counted that together and basically that's how we hand off and i also made sure that my rapid response bag was ready for, to go so being a charge you are also the rapid response nurse at my hospital i had to make sure that, that was okay and then um what happened yeah right i changed shift there was like a rapid a pseudo rapid that was called i need to run i need to like write up of something for it for that incident but i had to go down with a nurse to go get a patient so we had to admit somebody right at change of shift and that person is pretty sick. So yeah, that was that. And then just walked around helping people, asking if they needed help. And then we're now about to admit two people and time is two. So I actually feel awake, you know, I slept pretty well. So yeah, I'll probably check in with you guys towards the end of the shift, but I'm glad I'm charged tonight because it's it's been steady. Let's use the word steady, but. TYL.
guys happy new day today is thursday time is six getting ready to head out the house day two out of three i just quickly wanted to sh oh my god you guys i literally spoke too soon when i recorded when, while i was at work let me tell y'all that literally an hour after i was like oh it hasn't been a bad shift da 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 this has been steady if i'd ever be charged it would be tonight I take it back. I take those words back because y'all, I worked so hard for my money last night. Literally right after that recording, I had a rapid response that I had to go to. Luckily, the patient didn't have to come to the ICU. I had two fresh admissions that came in from the ED. And then a code. Next time, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because I was speaking preemptively, but Last night was crazy. My body felt so sore when I got home. And I'm sorry, I'm now picking up the camera, but I literally stayed in my room the whole night. Before, after I should I get home, take a shower, eat, I would wake up around two and still like kind of function. But the past two days, y'all, I have been sleeping in. And shout out to my curtains in my room, you guys. It literally blocks out the light for me. Drippings are where it's at, but you guys, it was crazy. My shift yesterday was crazy, and I literally spoke too soon. The sweater that I was wearing, I had to trash it. <laughs> I had to trash the sweater that I was wearing because of all the gunk that got on it. You cannot be cute and be in the ICU, unfortunately. But anyways, I am about to head into work. I just wanted to quickly share with you guys what my meal setup looks like. Also, I didn't mention this yesterday, but somebody bought me a Stanley, you guys the people the the owners of the broken pieces podcast courtesy of me being on the podcast got me a stanley cup they are literally the best and i love this cup so much i'm gonna take it everywhere but anyways let me show you guys what i eat while i'm at work for 12 hours well as far as my main meal i am taking jollof with me which i packaged this is a jollof i made the other day that ghana lost um i eat this usually around midnight to one as my lunch lunch and then i'm taking snacks i have two bananas um baked lays i love baked lays i cannot stand the original so if it's baked give it to me i like it um i have oh this is open i need to trash it oh and get another one all right rice pudding and then today we're a little fancy we're eating cheesecake two cheesecakes and then just like a little snacky snack, I have two mulches. I'm hoping this is enough snacks for the 12 hours. Oh yeah, and I made coffee as well. But last night's shift was crazy. I pray tonight is so much better, you guys. I pray tonight is so much better. I'm charged again. Oh Lord. I also did not charge my Apple Watch before I went to sleep. So unfortunately, I cannot take my Apple Watch, but yesterday it was a life, a game changer, especially when you're, in a code, when you're in a code. Having that Apple Watch is essential. But yeah, I'm all packed. Let me meet my baby in bag, child. I can't be bad. Also, I'm not wearing my, um, I am not wearing my Crocs today. My feet hurt so bad after my shift yesterday. I don't want to repeat it. So I'm going to give my Crocs a break. I have, um, these other shoes that I want to wear. Um, I might show it to you guys when I get to work, but Crocs when you have a busy shift is not it. I'm sorry. I need to invest in like better work shoes. But anyways. I can't get anywhere, especially being charged. Okay, guys. All right, y'all. I'm about to head out. Um, I'll try to check in while I'm at work, but if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, 
Hey guys, happy new day. Sorry, today's, what's today? Friday, today's Friday. Sorry, I did not check in yesterday, which was Thursday, y'all. Because I have been such a sloth, you guys. So I did not check in Thursday because I, my body was so tired. Like I had another crazy charge shift Wednesday night. And that. Dave. Starting. Dave. Now, eventually, he can fly the big boys Dave. and he can make double or triple that. But, sure. right. uh, but you don't start in those. Pause, Dave. But as I was saying, you guys, my shift Wednesday night was so crazy. Like, I don't know why my charge shifts are always so hectic. Like, I literally feel like I have every patient on the floor. I don't know if it's because of my um, temperament and where I just feel like I have to help everybody or what. But... It was insane. I had three rapid responses that I had to respond to. Two that ended up being admitted. One that I had to spend two hours on the floor for unnecessary. That's another talk for another day. Um, but luckily for me, I had somebody with me. I was warranting someone to charge. Um, and as much as I did have a buddy, I don't know how I'd have gone through that shift without without my 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 buddy, like without my coworker, because that shift was insane. Right at, right at the start of the shift was when the rapid responses started being, being called in, like literally 8.30. I'm like, yo, it is too early for all of this, especially after the day I had the, day, the night before. But anyways, it was crazy. My body felt so sore. Like nursing is such a physical job, you guys. It's insane. Another reason why I need to like get my certs together so that I can start working out patient but yeah, it's more mentally tasking than physically tasking. So I need to get it together. But that'll be another conversation for another day. But anyways, you guys, today is Friday. I finally woke up three hours ago. Time right now is 2 p.m. But on the agenda today, I just got back from the, the bank. I had to do something. And then I'm um, around 5. I'm going to go to my brother's restaurant. Um, I'll see if they'll let me vlog there. But if y'all are around the Stafford area... Um, there's a restaurant, Delia's restaurant in Stafford that my brother and his wife owns. So check it out. <laughs> Hopefully they can give me some food. So yeah, I need to go to them shortly. Then I have to visit my sister who just got back from Ghana around 6.30ish. So a little busy day, but I'm heading back home for now until then. So let us do that. Guys, so I am back from my rounds. I am going to just edit this week's vlog just so I get on top of things and I'm gonna head to the restaurant like I mentioned earlier. Oh Jesus, it's actually so nice outside. And now I'm like sweating. First off, before I do that, let me just respond to some comments. I've been doing such a terrible job so far this year and I appreciate you guys commenting on the videos like I truly mean it getting feedback from you guys is so important to me so I'm so sorry that I have not been responding or even liking messages lately I apologize I don't know life has just been busy but I'm definitely putting it back on the priority list of things to do because I truly appreciate it I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm not um, reading the messages because I actually am I read them I just for some reason I'm not liking or responding so It'll be better from here on out. I promise you that. But so let me go ahead and do those. Hmm. Okay. Made it here, guys. It's almost closing time, but. Y'all, I'm about to eat some uh, Benku and Nkrumah. I'll show you guys shortly. But if you guys live in Stafford area, come over. It's Dahlia's. I will leave the address in the box below. Check this out. My sister-in-law, guys. Hey. Hi, Michelle. Tell us about Dahlia's. Um, Dahlia's is an African cuisine. We, yeah. We cook um, different um, African dishes <laughs> like jello fries. Yeah. 
um, Wache, Suya, Suya, um, Achake. Oh yeah, we have Achake. Teasers on the weekend. Oh my goodness. Ben Kuna for Wache. We have the jerk chicken. Oh, we have period. the oxtail. Okay, we do Caribbean too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> rice and peas. Come we over. We also have rice and peas. We have the double coconut rice. Okay. And the double coconut rice goes really good with um, fried um, fried chicken or the jerk chicken. Period. Yeah, we have fufu and goat rice too. That is one of our specialties. Check and us out, guys. In yeah, Stafford, please. Virginia. It's three six four. Garrisonville Road and a Suite 101 in Stafford, Virginia, 22556. Period. Please come in. Just mention Michelle and you will get a uh, discount. Oh, yeah. Mention my name when you guys come, okay? Let them know I sent you. I'm going to Okay, you're maintaining for I've been telling you about Conchipa for a long time. Saturday. Time is almost six. I'm about to head into work. Basically slept the whole day. Sorry, I did not pick up the camera again, but literally I now try to get as much sleep as I can because I realized that with school, everything that happened last year, I was very sleep deprived. So this year I'm sleeping. When I'm working, I'm gonna force myself to sleep. So I got some pretty good sleep. So I made a smoothie for lunch, I guess. I'm gonna, I packed Jello for dinner and then I'm gonna take some snacks like I showed you guys the other day. I also texted my friend, my coworker who lives in my community to see if we could ride together. You know, this helps us stay awake, especially when you're driving back home from night shift. Scary, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here, guys, as always. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see y'all next week.